Now, dear students, database technology and databases have been around for a long time, but the web is relatively new, relatively new, not very new. So, what has happened is that uh, the web and the technology has given a shot in the arm of the old technology, and web enables the dissemination, the transfer, the exchange of data for the database applications which can be anywhere in the world across the globe so it's a kind of a win-win combination of the database technology and the web technology now as we speak literally hundreds and thousands of new users are coming up on the internet are joining the web so this is a tremendous market for the web-based database applications and that is why you are taking this course. So uh, in this module, I will briefly give the objectives and some of the introduction. So let's go ahead. So I'll talk about the basic concepts, uh, which you may be knowing and static versus dynamic web page. That is very important because that you might not be knowing. That is why you are taking this course. Web based versus the client server based traditional applications i will do a comparison i will show you a table also and then the important concerns the important concerns of using a web based database applications which is the network which is the security the transmission and so on so let's go into more details so these are the basic concepts everybody knows uh, or usually knows uh, what internet is, what the web is, and what uh, intranet is, extranet is. So, intra, uh, internet is something very big. It is very, very big, right? This is, this is, this is internet. This is internet, okay? And intranet is a network within an organization which is accessible to the users of that organization. That is the intranet. And the extranet is allowing the outside traffic from the internet coming on the intranet. So if you use a Venn diagram over here like this, so this is the internet and this is the intranet and this is the extranet. I believe you understand. Now there are two types of web pages, static versus dynamic. Static pages is that you type something in a web page and you store it somewhere and that's it that's a static page whenever you make a click or read it its contents will never change that is a static page that's, that's, that's not very interesting that is not very useful unless of course uh, it's like history history never changes history never changes so you can have a static web page for history but for or, or for policies policies but the policies can change also so you have these dynamic pages. Dynamic pages are generated on the go. I will explain it to you. So static versus dynamic pages. So what happens that dynamic pages are more versatile. Dynamic pages you can uh, make a request to get something and the dynamic pages are generated which contain the contents as per your request you can uh, create an environment for yourself using dynamic pages uh, dynamic pages are easy to maintain also and so on uh, you can of course add some static material to the uh, dynamic pages also so you write the script which generate the dynamic pages on the go on the go means that as you are uh, proceeding to view and explore a website those web pages are generated they are not static they were not there they are generated as per your need as per your requirement as per your commands as per your clicks you understand what i'm saying so let's uh, take a look at this di uh, diagram also so i i click on something over here and this click goes over here to the internet and then comes over here okay Maybe I am. Uh, I would like to know about a certain product, and or I would like to know the status of the grade of a student. 
so this request goes all the way to the database and from the database a page is generated or the data is passed okay and it goes over there it goes over there okay and maybe uh, if there is a warning the the frame becomes uh, red or orange or if it's okay it becomes green or uh, there's a congeniality message and so on and this page basically is displayed over here so i have this uh, dynamic page generated on the go now web based versus client server applications details are in the notes of course so i will not go through all of them it is platform dependent the client server is platform dependent the client the traditional client server application right so if the application has to change you add something to it try to understand you add something to it maybe you have to make the changes at all the clients it is very expensive that is going to take a lot of resources but this is platform independent okay web based applications are platform independent you can be running them in a different uh, operating system in a different browser because there are certain standards which are built there you have to install a traditional client server application it means that the user base is very small no need for installation if you have say uh, 500 million internet users potential users they just click on your website there's no need to install but a traditional client server application it's not possible to install it at 500 million handheld devices or computers difficult to integrate but is easy to integrate and the list goes on persistent connection this is a very very strong benefit of traditional persistent connection which is more secure it gives high performance over here non persistent web does not remembers your connection even if coming from the same location and so on and finally the reliability of the internet packets drop congestion right or uh, link down and so on so the network traffic is not reliable is not reliable you cannot ensure a desired level of response which is guaranteed in a traditional client server environment and the security people can break into banks into your uh, databases they can steal data they can use rans uh, rans uh, ransomware they can do many things and they can intercept the traffic going from point a to point b this traffic can be intercepted however work is going on to handle these issues and these issues will be handled and the web based database applications will be more reliable and more secure that is a lesson you should take today from this module thank you very much